How do I get the stretch under the shoulder blade? Yep, this is a question has come up several times in reception work and let's answer this set truly now. Typically the symptoms has started without any single injury, but repetitive strain may be messing up the whole package, whether this is a work or laser related strain. Symptoms sometimes may feel unilateral on the right or on the left, under the shoulder blade, between the shoulder blades, unilaterally or above the shoulder blade. If your typical symptoms intensify during inhalation or exhalation, then it's very likely that intercostal muscles are causing these symptoms. Considering the structures of the thoracic spine, human has 12 pairs of the ribs. They twist from the back to thoracic spine to front with the first two pairs. The lowest two ribs are floating ribs, meaning that their structure starts from the rib, but the lowest 12th rib stays at the back of the body and the 11th twist the outer edge of our chest. The top 10 rib starts from the back, turning into calderage structures in the front of the thoracic spine, and from there they attach to our stern. If we think about where the thoracic spine spinosus process is located, it can be felt through the touch from the surface of our skin. Then the spinosus process of the vertebrae is approximately in line with the rib of the lower vertebra pair. So, in this example, when I'm searching for the vertebral level 6 spinosus process with my finger, then at that point I'm vertebral level rib area. If there is extremely tender structures there and they are still reasonably stiff, then it's advisable to gently mobilize these structures. Now, how on earth do we mobilize them? If the client has come to my reception with the unilateral pain and some stretching needs to be tried, I try to figure out where the stiff structures begins and where the client's experienced pain is. When I place my fingertip to the spinosus process and I hook my thumb, at that point the base of the thumb acts as a lever. Looking at the rib from the top to down before the rib curves forward is a good spot for place for finger. This way we can get level in the gentle stretch. When the hand placement is correct, then the client lays down on their back. Hands cross it around and I start twisting the body towards the side of the structures to be stretched. At the same time, the client experiences the stretch, and there one can gently pump movement back and forth. How in earth we can achieve similar experience by ourselves? A lacrosse ball is incredibly good level. Place the ball reasonably to the side of the rib before it curves, and then raise your hands towards the ceiling. After this, start pumping your hand from beside your head to far away. When the ball is jamming the rib and the structures around it starts to move, then we can achieve stretching very precisely to the area and this should start increase the mobility and reduce the symptoms. So, how mobilization for a single area should be done? I would personally pick an absolute brilliant song for the background, mobilize the tender and stiff structures for the duration of the song every evening. When the symptom free day starts accumulating seven in a row, then after that you can drop the routines. If you feel intense pain during the self-mobilization, then start the whole thing perhaps on the bed. When no more significant sensation comes at this position, then you can move the harder surface. For example, shaggy carpet is a good option. I wouldn't do this exercise on the hard floor. Additionally, if you can't keep your neck relaxed while lying on the ball, then by all means put the pillow under your head for the extra support. If you have to tense your muscles in the cervical spine in a bit painful position, then relaxation is far from this exercise. If you want to see how else the thoracic spine can be moved, check this video out and thank you.